Okay folks, welcome back to another Budget Gem or Budget Bust. Uh, today I've got the SCAR RP3500.1D on the amp dyno here to find out just how much power one of these amps produces. Um, you'll already notice that I've got this amp already hooked up and ready to go. Uh, reason why? Because there's no unboxing, because this was a refurb. Um, I bought this from SCAR a while ago as a refurb. I think I paid like mid 300s then. Um, now you can find the refurbs for about 399 on eBay when they pop up. Um, they're not always there, so you kind of always have to be looking for one of these. If you want brand new, they are about 469 from Scar, and 469, 3500 watts. You know, it's still a decent deal. It's not. A mind-bending deal like what you've seen some out some of the other deals out there now and especially like some of the Brazilian amps like the tar amps or other full bridge amplifiers are out in the market currently but it's still a pretty good deal uh, if it does what it says uh, for a class D uh, half bridge amplifier which is what one of these are now these are not uh, typical scar Korean amps like you see in the SK series these RP series are made in China however the 3500s and 4500s do take a little bit of a difference between the rest of the RP line uh, meaning that they are strappable uh, that's one thing you don't get in like RP 2000 or an RP 1500 and um, you know that's primarily the big difference on these from the, uh, the rest of the RP series is the strappability of them uh, we are going to take a quick look at this amplifier, we're going to open it up, and then after that we are of course are going to strap up to the trusty amp dyno, we're going to find out just how much power one of these amps produces. Um, now some of you may have had a head start and saw the dyno that SCAR did, um, and if you watch that one, you see it misses its ratings only because of the voltage. Um, they I think had in the 12 volt range. Uh, for their one ohm certified test and we're going to throw everything we got at this to try to get it over 14 volts. Um, my power bank's handled 7500, 8000 watts. I think we got this bad boy covered here. Alright, um, so let's just jump into it and uh, take a look around. What would you get for this amp? Along this side of the amplifier we find our power and ground input connectors as well as our speaker output terminals. Um, obviously here we've got some nice beefy watt on inputs for our both our power and ground as well as a ridiculously oversized 8 gauge remote input terminal because um, yeah you definitely need 8 gauge as your remote turn on signal for this amp not um, and as well here you have nice a nice pair here of uh, speaker output terminals um, two positives two negatives uh, for connecting multiple subwoofers and these are 8 gauge. Well, on this side of the amplifier we find our settings for the amplifier as well as our RCA inputs and outputs and our strapping capability. Yes, this is a SCAR RP series amplifier that does have strapping capability and does have RCA outputs. Um, this is different than the other SCAR RPs other than the 4500 which also has these same capabilities. But the 2000 and down, um, they do not. Um, they are only they only have one set of RCA inputs, and there's no ability of strapping. Uh, but you can on this one here. Um, so of course we've got our RCA inputs here, outputs. Uh, we have our gain, which is adjustable from six volts down to 0.2 volts. Our subsonic filter, which is adjustable from 10 hertz to 50 hertz. Our quote unquote base EQ which is really just a bass boost. They tried tricking me here and saying calling it bass EQ, but it's not, it's our bass boost. That's adjustable from zero to nine dBs. Um, we have our remote uh, bass knob input right there. Uh, our low pass filter, which is adjustable from 30 per 35 hertz down to, or up to 250 hertz. Our phase shift is adjustable and that's from zero to 180 uh, degrees. And right here is a switch for output or master for linking two of these amplifiers together for strapping. Okay, one last thing I want to show you before we jump into the dyno, and that is the base knob. Um, they are metal. 
I know one of you out there has complained and been like, what's the difference between plastic and metal? I don't care. You know what? If you're spending your 500 bucks, don't cheap out. Give me at least a metal freaking base knob. It's not something flimsy that's gonna break on me or have the plastic degrade over time. You know what? Come on, man. And uh, SCAR does that. You get a power light and pretty nice feeling potentiometer. And that's about it. It is metal. So, not too bad there. Um, and now with that, there is nothing left to do but to strap up this amp to the amp dyno and find out just how much power it actually produces. Final thoughts here on the SCAR RP3500.1D. Um, <laughs> as you saw, uh, we did get better performance than what SCAR got on their own amp dyno. Um, yeah, let's just get it out of the way. This thing is a budget gem, if you consider 470 bucks your budget. Um, <laughs> I mean, we got well over 3,700 plus watts uh, certified. I'll have to go back and check out the exact number. Uh, over 4,000 watts uncertified, over 4,000 watts dynamic. Um, so very, very nice job by SCAR on this amp. Um, you know, the longevity on, of these, I don't know. I don't love Chinese amps for the longevity of them, but I mean, this one might be okay. I mean, this one is a refurb, but the always question mark, I always come on some of these refurbs are you know, was it the amp's fault or was it user error? And what I mean by that is some, you'll have people go out there, they'll buy a 3,500 watt amp, um, they'll buy a 20 foot run of CCA one watt cable and call it a day. You know, they'll have a stock alternator, one freaking battery, and they don't know shit about car audio, and then the amp blows up on them because you drop down to the tens for voltage, and they're gonna go, oh my god, Scar sucks. Everyone sucks. Blah, blah, blah. No, man, you fucking suck. All right? So, I don't know 
um, with, with some of these refurbs, what the issue was at the time, but obviously Scar decided they wanted to throw a new board in these amps and uh, uh, give them out as a discount to, to customers, which is perfectly fine if you know what you're doing, okay? Um, so this one performed great, good job to Scar. And that's all I can really say about it, you know? I'm, I'm pretty pumped about this amp. So, that's it for me folks. Till next time, I have a ridiculous amount of amps to test. Stay tuned.